Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today I'm sharing my makeup bag essentials, so things that I use near enough every single day. So this is my makeup bag, it's from New Look and I'm totally in love with it. I love that it's transparent so I can see what I'm reaching for and the cactus make it so cute and in here is where I hold the contents of my daily face. One of my favourite eyebrow products is the Benefit Gimme Brow. I literally love this product as my eyebrows are super light and this gives them the colour and definition that they need whilst also keeping them natural. Once it's on, it stays on all day and there's no smudging at all. This product has pretty much gave new life to my brows and I apply this by brushing my brows both up and down just so it coats everything. To then shape my brows a little more, I go in with the Soap and Glory Archery Brow Pencil in Love is Blonde, which by the way is the perfect colour for redheads. It has a tiny precision pencil on one end and a brush on the other and the tiny pencil is great for small hair like strokes. I use this to line the bottom of my eyebrows to give them a better shape and to also fill in any parts where my eyebrows are a bit sparse. I then use a brush on the other end to then kind of blend in the lines. So onto face and my favourite primer has to be the Benefit Professional. This product is so soft and silky that it pretty much glides on the face and I just love applying it in the morning. You can really see the difference in my makeup when I use it and my makeup like stays in place better and the pores are not as visible. I apply this using my fingers just dabbing it in the areas of my face that have larger pores like my nose and my chin and then rubbing it on the rest of my face. For foundation, I always turn to Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place. This has been my go-to foundation for a good three or four years. I literally love this stuff, it's unreal. The coverage is amazing, it's a buildable medium that lasts all day, um, but it's still incredibly lightweight and doesn't clog pores at all. And to apply it, I dot it around my face and then blend it in with a damp beauty blender and it gives such a natural finish. To add definition to my forehead, as my forehead is a little large, I love to use the Master Sculpt by Maybelline. I opt for this in my makeup bag over other products because it's compact, it comes with a brush and a mirror and it's super easy to use. I don't use the highlighter as it's not great but the contour is okay and I apply this by lightly sweeping across my forehead and then blending it in. So onto blusher and I cannot get enough of the MAC blusher powder in Desert Rose. Believe it or not, I have never used another blusher than but this one and I've only had to purchase it twice as the formula literally lasts forever. It's so pigmented that the smallest bit goes the longest way and I apply it lightly sweeping on the apples of my cheek. The colour lasts all day and it's so easily blendable as well. And to finish off my face, I use the Stay Matte Powder in Transparent. The powder is great value for money, um, it only cost around £3 and it's just perfect. It controls shine all day by just using the smallest amount. It's a great quality and keeps my makeup on all day. And to apply, I literally just get a bit on a really big kind of powder brush and go all over my face. So onto eyes, and a great eyeshadow for the everyday bag is the Essence Triple Chalk. It's a lovely shade of subtle brown and small enough to like carry around every day. It's not the best of eyeshadows but it really is inexpensive and small enough to throw into my makeup bag instead of carrying around like a large eyeshadow palette. I apply this um, on my lower lash line and my eyelid crease just to give things a bit more depth. A great eyelash primer has to be the Benefits Their Real Tinted Primer. I have quite long eyelashes but they are also extremely light and this product gives my lashes so much more volume and length than with just using mascara. It's a lightweight formula so it doesn't feel heavy on my lashes at all and it just gives my lashes a little more of a boost. I apply this just like my mascara, kind of brushing it from root to tip. And my favourite essential mascara has to be the Benefits Their Real. Paired with the primer, this mascara really does lengthen, curl and coat each lash individually. I was hesitant at first because it's not waterproof, but this has to be like the best non-waterproof mascara in my opinion, and it's better than most waterproof mascaras too. Because it's not waterproof, it's super easy to take off at the end of the day, and to apply this, I kind of just go from root to tip, kind of jiggling it along the lashes or through the lashes. And a staple for me when it comes to lipstick is the Soft Matte Lip Cream by NYX or NYX in Stockholm. It's a lovely kind of peachy pink colour and it glides on so smoothly and it's so easy to apply with the doe foot applicator. It has great longevity and it also has such a lovely scent to it. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. And if you're new, please subscribe to my channel. 
Next week I'm thinking of doing a Q&A so if you have any questions for me then just leave them in the comment section down below. Thank you again for watching and I hope you have a lovely week and I'll see you in my next one. Ciao!